Good afternoon. I am often asked the differences between fixed dough and movable dough. People want to know what they are and when they use each. So here are some answers in a nutshell. Both fixed dough and movable dough are sight reading systems and they are meant to promote beautiful sight reading and beautiful singing. And the way they facilitate beautiful singing is the syllables used are pure vowel tones. So the singer has an opportunity to sing on a pure vowel sound. Both fixed dough and movable dough use syllables, and here are the diatonic syllables. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, do, ti, la, sol, fa, mi, re, do. Let me do the scale on the way down one more time. I was getting ready to show you a chromatic syllable. No, no, no. Do, ti, la, sol. Now I'm going to show you the diatonic syllables, and they go like this. Do, di, re, ri, mi, fa, fi, so, si, la, li, ti, do, do, ti, te, la, le, so, se, fa, mi, me, re, ra, do. So those are the chromatic and diatonic syllables. Now, when you are using movable dough, dough changes to wherever the tonic of the key is. So in movable dough, in C major, dough is C. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. In the key of D major, dough is D. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. In the key of E major, Do is E. Okay? So does that make sense? So when you are thinking about fixed dough, things are different. With fixed dough, C, middle C, is always, ever, forever, ever shall be Do. So Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. But if you're in the key of D, then you start on re, and your scale sounds like this. Re, mi, fi, so, la, ti, di, re, di, ti, la, so, fi, mi, re. And if you're in the key of E major, then you start on mi, fi, si, and it goes on from there. So what does this mean if you are teaching sight reading to a group of students? Well, if you are using movable dough, then obviously, Do is assigned the tonic of the key. If you are using fixed do, then do may be the syllable that is forever and always assigned that particular syllable. So I'm going to show you a little song right now, and it's called John Kanakanaka. It's from a book called Sail Away. And as you can see, here's the tune, and it is in E flat. I'm going to show you the beginning of it. But in E flat, in movable do, E flat becomes do. Do re mi fa so la ti do ti la so fa mi re do. So if you're going to begin sight reading this piece of music, which so I'll show you what it sounds like right now. It goes, I heard, I heard the old man say, John Kanaka Naka Tulie. If you're going to sing this using movable do, then so is assigned this note of B flat. So you would read it like this. So, so, mi, so, mi, do, re, mi, do, re, mi, 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 re, so, do. That changes when you are using fixed do. In fixed do, E flat is May. So your scale degrees go like this. Me fa so le te do re mi me re do te le so fa me. So when you're going to sight read this piece of music, you would start here on te, and you would sing te te sol te sol me fa sol. Me, fa, so, 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 fa, te, me. 
it would go like that. So I hope you understand the differences and there are circumstances where you might use fixed dough and there are circumstances where you might use movable dough. I'll discuss those in future videos. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you.